program the pump for the pulse signal mode, press the note key until pulse signal is displayed. Then press yes. The pump can respond to pulse inputs in three ways, either by straight pulses, which means that one signal from the dry contact generator will produce one stroke of the pump, or by divide, which means that multiple pulses from the signal generator are required to make the pump stroke once, or by pulse multiply, which means that every one pulse from the signal generator can be programmed to produce multiple strokes from the pump. We'll begin with straight pulses. The pump is also capable of storing pulses. In the event that the pulse rate exceeds 125 pulses per minute from the generator, the pump will store those pulses into memory and work them off as the pulse rate declines. In the screen, the normal operation of the pump is shown. Whenever I send one signal to the pump, it strokes one time. If I send multiple strokes to it faster than the pump can respond to them, it accumulates them on the right-hand side of the screen. If I stop sending pulses, it works them off one by one. The pump also displays its output at the top of the screen in either gallons per hour, liters per hour, or gallons per day. You can also press the percent key to display the gallons for the last hour, last 24 hours, and last user reset.